According to the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, almost one out of three people in the U.S. will develop shingles during their lifetime. And your risk increases as you get older. We spoke with Dr. Pronoff Mehta at Redlands Community Hospital and asked him to tell us about shingles. Shingles is a, a, a disease that is caused by a virus called varicella zoster. We all have this virus when we got chicken pox when we were children. After that, this virus kind of hibernates, sleeps in the body, and it comes back a second time around. It causes a very painful type of rash. It's called shingles. Patients come to me sometimes and says, I got this rash here. It's a painful rash. It looks like a, a, a bunch of pimples sitting on a red base. Usually, the pain and the numbness starts first in most of the cases. And then you see a, a group of vesicles, a group of lesions that come up, and then it spreads. So from day three to day seven, it starts to spread. And then after days 10 to 14, it crusts and dissolves. Uh, shingles is a Latin term, means cingulum. Cingulum means belt or a girdle. So it will come in a, in a, in a band like, like fashion. And usually it's most common in the chest or the back, but we have seen cases on the, on the legs and on the shoulder also. Dr. Mehta gave us his recommendations for patients with shingles. We recommend that patients take medication. If you take medication within the first 48 to 72 hours, then it will do five things for you. It will lessen the duration and the severity of the pain it will lessen the formation of the new vesicles. It will reduce the viral shedding, which will then reduce the risk of transmission. And it makes the skin heal faster. So I would recommend that patients contact their doctor right away if they start having painful rash. Because getting to it is, is, is the key. There are three medications on the market. The first one that came on the market is called acyclovir. The dose is, in most of the cases, 800 milligram five times a day. But nobody can take five times a day. It's just, they usually forget one or two doses. So the efficacy is not as good as the other two medications. The other two medications are called FAMVIR, that's F-A-M-V-I-R, and Valtrex, V-A-L-T-R-E-X. They are taken three times a day. And they're shown to be a little bit better because patients can take them at a more regular doses. Shingles affect some patients for a long time. The patient usually associates the pain that comes after the shingles as still being the active form of disease. So about 10 to 15 percent of the patients who have shingles will get this condition called post-herpetic neuralgia, which can last from weeks to six months to years. So a patient will say that they still have the active form of shingles, but it, in reality it's the complications of shingles. Dr. Mehta discussed the prevention of shingles. There is a vaccine called Zostavac, which is recommended. Uh, you take it. Uh, it, it. It gives you the immunity from the disease in most cases. It's a shot that you give subcutaneously and, um, and uh, just once. And you want to make sure that when you get the shot, you're not taking steroids or you don't have any cancer treatment going on or you're not in any immunocompromised state because it's a, it, it can cause shingles itself. If someone has had shingles, can they get it again? They did this study a few years back where they looked at 5,000 patients who had shingles once and then they followed them for about four years. Only 25, meaning less, about 0.5% got the second time. So it's very rare, but I have seen it in two or three times in my patients. 